Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Poland's Garage. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be working on my 2007 Suzuki SV650. So this bike was in the videos before, if you guys want to see uh, like an overlook of everything that was done to the bike previously. Uh, I will link that below in the description. But what today we're going to be working on, we're going to be getting rid of this massive rear fender, the plate holder and the personal holder as well. And we're completely gonna be stripping this off and installing uh, this, the Fender Eliminator Kit. So there is many of them. They usually range about 70 to $80. I got this one for $30 with taxes, about like $31 with taxes and shipping to my house. So it wasn't a bad deal. As you guys can see, it's a little bit bent, but I will bend it back in place. It came without turn signals, but it came with this plate that you need for the SVs. You cannot just buy the most generic one because you will need this plate, this specific shape plate that will go in here underneath to make sure your uh, storage compartment here is watertight. So you need to buy a specific one of this plate. And this one also came with this triple LED uh, plate light that will mount in the holes right there. What it didn't came, it didn't came with turn signals. So I ordered four new turn signals that are like your most generic LED uh, turn signals, Let's just take them out so you guys can see. So this is your most generic, four of them were $10 on eBay with shipping, I think after taxes were like $11, or not even $11 after taxes. But this uh, this is gonna eliminate the huge turn signals in the front, because I ordered four of those. So it's gonna eliminate those huge turn signals in the front, as well as those huge turn signals in the back, which I still think they look decent, but they kind of date the bike, as well as the fender. I think once those tour singles and the fenders are gone, it's gonna look much better. The only issue with buying the cheapest mount is that it doesn't go, doesn't have tour single brackets. There's supposed to be a little tour single, like L-shaped tour single bracket. But as long as we have the original fender, what I figured out, this is the uh, part that would go right here and has the little uh, reflectors on the side. That's literally all it does, has the reflectors on the side and it's mounting the uh, the plate to it, you screw the plate to it. It's a little bit wider, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it right here as well as right here, so I have two separate loose pieces, and this way this metal bracket is completely gonna go to trash. I will unscrew the, the other side uh, reflector as well and just drill out this hole, and this way I can mount this together, we'll sandwich it together with the plate on the back of the mount and it's not gonna look ghetto, but it's gonna look good. So let's get into work. I never took one apart, so I will be in steps taking it apart and making videos to show you exactly guys where the bolts are. So let's get into it. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm in this position right now. Let me just get you up to speed really quickly what you need step by step. So obviously, first thing you'll be removing your seat. Super easy. All you, put it, all you do, you put a key in here, you twist it, you open it. If you never knew it, there's a storage underneath it. So you obviously remove the seat. Second thing, you have those side plastics, two of them, one on each side. So one right here and one right here. They're bolted right here through a number four metric Allen wrench. You remove those two, you get an access to a bolt right here, which is number six Allen wrench. You have obviously the mirror image on the other side. So we have two on this side, number four to remove the plastic. You remove the bolt, you just pull it off because the plastic also has the grommet right here that holds it in. Same thing on the other side. You remove those two bolts, only one on each side holding the seat. You pop the seat up from the front and it slides right out. So that's how you get access to this. So you see right now. Third thing is a number 12 socket. You will need a socket to remove the rear spoiler. I had the real spoiler over there. Is that a real spoiler, spoiler right here? So two 12 millimeter sockets, that spoiler comes off. Then you have a bigger Phillips. Take a bigger Phillips screwdriver. I use this size, something like that. Seemed to work perfect. You have one, two, three, and four. Phillips. You remove those four Phillips. So one, two, three, and four. Then you have fifth small Phillips right here. So you undo this small, smaller Phillips too. You can use the same screwdriver. I use the same screwdriver. So 
it's a total of five Phillips screws and uh, then you move on then you will need number five Ellen this is the only bolt so far that was number five there's a little bolt this whole assembly sits like here and you have a little bolt that's number five Ellen wrench also metric you can do this this pops loose you pop this up and you just take the bolt out out of the uh, assembly this is for your lock for your seat lock so you want to make sure you reconnect it you know when you put everything together but i will remind you that uh, at the end when we're putting everything together so after this you have all the bolts removed you have plastic clips like those clips this you don't have to remove those but this style clips and you will have six very deep in here you have one and two underneath it this is even a still piece of the clip and then you have one and two and obviously you have mirror image on the other side which is one and two so total of six of those clips underneath and then there is a seventh one which goes right here so this is a, a bolt or a screw and this is a clip right here and when you're in this position everything becomes loose I'm gonna put you guys down because I don't want to scrape the plastic even though it's already scraped on this side but uh, yeah I will uh, take everything off and get you up to speed with the next uh, section so here is another update as you guys can see I put the metal holder in so let me get you step by step so we see last step we still had the plastic on we took off the plastic one thing I forgot to mention before you remove the uh, rear fairing there is a plug right here that's for the uh, rear tail light for the little LED tail light so you have to remove this and after that you have 10 millimeter bolt right here as well as 10 millimeter bolt right here and this way you can pull this plastic trim down you kind of have to like rip on it because you have to unhook it from here because it kind of holds onto the plastic you will rip it down and you will unveil underneath this trim right here there will be four 10 millimeter bolts so we have one here one here and obviously two the same exact location mirror image on the other side we uh, unhook the uh, both turn signals as well as the license plate light and they are color match too which is cool so the uh, right turn signal it's the black trim the, the, the black clip right here for the uh, left uh, turn signal is the gray gray one right here and for the little light right here for the plate light is the white clip right in here that white clip right here and obviously the biggest one is your rear tail light but just like this i've put the uh after i wired in i just used the original plugs i cut the cables off of those turn signals and i just used the original plugs and wired in the uh the new turn signal as well as the new plate light bolted on the um, mount right here you first put the mount on it fits perfectly fine the original bolts then you sandwich in the second plate with those spiky stuff spiky points just sticking towards front of the bike you the main holder for the plate is bolted by those two bolts as well that little plate that little beauty plate just a little cover it's only bolted by those two bolts at the top so this is it you just literally screw it on with the 10 millimeter as well and uh you what you put your signals through here and you put the plastic plate back on i will have to put the two 10 millimeters on each side and it's ready to be put back together it's probably easiest i made those wires longer they're kind of gonna be messy in here but they're a little bit longer so it's easier to like plug it in and out i also cut the bracket the original bracket from the um, uh, plate mount that was that would come on your sv right here and i just drill it out i cut it obviously in the middle as i mentioned i drill and i squeeze it in a little bit i drill it out so i can fit the turn signals in and that's what it looks like right now so uh let me put this back together and i'm gonna show you guys obviously putting it together is the same procedure like taking it out just in reverse and i'm gonna show you what it looks like all put together okay so we are done finally the turn signals are in the fender illuminator is in 
it looks much more mean much more it looks newer like i don't know it just looks angry it looks newer in my opinion it looks it feels or like it looks lighter too like i don't know it looks more sporty so the turn signals are obviously the most basic cheapest ebay turn signals and that fender eliminator and uh i think it looks great i don't know guys let me know what you think i think this looks a million times better compared to this huge fender in the back we also put those real quickly on just swap them out they're not really that hard just took the old fairing off and uh cut the old wires and splice them to the new wires one issue is they are leds so the others the other ones were halogen so we do get the fast blinking but you know what maybe that's even better <laughs> maybe because of this it's gonna be easier to see us see me on the road so i don't really care i know i'm supposed to put like a resistor in there to make them blink at the right speed but it doesn't really bother me it's more like we barely use turn signals as this <laughs> And uh, as you guys can see, the license plate light, the LED works as well. It's nice and bright, so we shouldn't get pulled over for that. And uh, yeah, so this was it. If you guys enjoy it, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, stay tuned. See you next time. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Fender Eliminator. And uh, the turn signals, I like them. I feel they look good because they're hidden. They're not very visible, so... I don't know, it just looks nicer. The Fender Eliminator for $31, you really cannot complain. It's technically a direct fit. You have to kind of, you know, bend it a little bit. Like as I showed you earlier in the video, the, the it came in bent. So you just kind of have to bend it the right way. But besides that, for $31, shipped with taxes, you know, at your doorstep. And came like two days as well. So that's awesome. Um, you cannot complain. I like it a lot. I think it looks much better than the original and uh, Yeah, let me know in the comments in this, and also in the scale from like 1 to 10 If you're handy and you have a couple basic tools It's maybe like 4 or 5. That's it. Like it's just putting the plastics together is what's the hardest because you have to like align everything the right way But it's a uh, they said it's, it's it looks better. So it's worth it Alright guys, stay tuned and see you next time.